हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू एक्सरसाइज 8.4 इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड डन फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चंस नाउ टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बिफोर स्टार्टिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री लेट अस रिमाइंड दोज फॉर्मूलाज विच वी हैड डन इन आवर प्रीवियस एक्सरसाइजेज आई एम राइटिंग हेयर वन वॉज साइंस के रे प्लस कोस के रे इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट वॉज वन प्लस टेंजेंट स्केयर ए इक्वल टू सीकेंड स्केयर ए एंड थर्ड वॉज वन प्लस को टेंजेंट स्केयर ए इज इक्वल टू को सीकेंड स्केयर ए सो दीज थ्री फॉर्मूलाज वी हैड डन इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेट अस स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दीज फॉर्मूलाज इन थर्ड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई एम स्टार्टिंग I am writing the statement. Have a look. Sine square sixty three degree plus sine square twenty seven degree over cos square seventeen degree plus cos square seventy three degree. So this is the question we are having. Now see two formulas are. being used together i checked 63 plus 27 is 90 when sum is 90 that means my previous exercise right and when square of trigonometric ratios are there that means these formulas can be used which are written here so what i am going to do sin square 63 as it is but i am going to convert this sin 27 into cos how can it be done see 27 can be written as 90 minus 90 minus 63 sorry i can write it as 90 minus 63 because if we subtract 63 from 90 we will get 27 right and then square is there i can put square as it is okay and in denominator <coughs> see 17 and 73 sum is 90 so any one of these two i can change i am going to change this cos what i can do 17 can be written as 90 minus 73 plus cos square 73 degree now let's see what result we are going to get sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so it will become cos square 63 degree what i have done sin 90 minus theta i have put cos theta since it was square so square as it is i have used and then cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so sin 73 degree square as it is and here cos square 73 degree now see which formula it is becoming now sin square a plus cos square a this first formula it is becoming now Which is equal to one. Same in denominator, sine square a plus cos square a. It is one. So one by one, our final answer is one only. So see, this question is very easy. Let us see part second now. Second part, sine twenty five degree, cos sixty five degree, plus cos. Twenty-five degree, sine sixty-five degree. Now look at this question. Twenty-five plus sixty-five is ninety, right? Twenty-five plus sixty-five is ninety. So what I am going to do here, sine twenty-five, cos. Till now everything I have written as it is. Now this sixty-five I can write as ninety minus twenty-five. what i am going to do i am planning to change 65 degree into 25 degree both sides now see here cos 25 as it is 65 can be written as 90 minus 25 then sin 25 see cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so sin 25 
साइन नाइन्टी माइनस थीटा इज कॉस थीटा कॉस ट्वेंटी फाइव साइन ट्वेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई साइन ट्वेंटी फाइव इट बिकम्स साइन स्केयर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड कॉस ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू कॉस ट्वेंटी फाइव इट बिकम्स कॉस स्केयर ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ सी साइन स्केयर थीटा प्लस कॉस स्केयर थीटा इट इज इक्वल टू वन वी हैव जस्ट डन दिस फॉर्मूला सो दैट इज वाई साइन ट्वेंटी फाइव कोस सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस कोस ट्वेंटी फाइव साइन सिक्सटी फाइव जस्ट वेरी इजी स्टेप्स फॉलोइंग वी गेट इट्स फाइनल आंसर वन लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फर्स्ट पार्ट नाइन सी कैंड स्केयर ए माइनस नाइन टेंजेंट स्केयर ए इज इक्वल टू वट इट्स अ ब्लैंक देयर एम सी क्यू इज देयर फोर ऑप्शन वी आर हैविंग लेट एस सी हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन नाइन सी कैंड स्केयर ए माइनस नाइन टेंजेंट स्केयर ए राइट वी नीड टू सॉल्व इट टेक नाइन कॉमन आउट ऑफ इट वट विल बी गेट सी कैंड स्केयर ए माइनस टेंजेंट स्केयर ए एंड नाउ वी हैड डन वन फॉर्मूला वन प्लस टेंजेंट स्केयर ए इट इज इक्वल टू सी कैंड स्केयर ए keep one here and tangent square if move to right side what will we get secant square a minus tangent square its value is 1 so what we can do just put its value 1 so its answer must be 9 where is 9 so this 9 is our answer i hope you are clear with this question let's move to next part second part second part almost all kind of formulas which we have done as of now are going to be used let's see 1 plus tangent theta plus secant theta 1 plus cotangent theta minus cosecant theta so this is the question we need to solve it and we need to find the answer first of all keep it in mind usually in most of the cases when tangent secant different kind of values are there we will try to convert them into sin and cos like tangent theta can be written as sin theta upon cos theta secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta let us write it cotangent theta can be written as cos theta upon sin theta and cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta right we have converted everything into sin and cos cos and cos so cos theta can be written as lcm we will get cos theta plus sin theta plus 1 in the numerator and here sin theta is lcm we will get sin theta plus cos theta minus 1 in numerator <coughs> right so what next we can do this sin theta and cos theta can be multiplied because product is there and look at this this is sin theta plus cos theta even though it is written as cos theta plus sin theta but more or less both are same sin theta plus cos theta sin theta plus cos theta so we get a formula a plus b a minus b a plus b a minus b is equal to a square so this is was my a so a square minus b square <coughs> then a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b Minus one in denominator sine theta cos theta. Now see sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Else everything I am writing as it is. We need to move step by step. Don't be in hurry. One and one cancelled, and then we get. 2 sin theta cos theta 
over sin theta cos theta sin and sin cancel cos and cos cancel and we are left with 2 right so its answer will be if you check the book there are four options a option is 0 b option is 1 c option is 2 and d option is minus 1 so our answer is c option 2 it's not necessary that this question will come in exam in the form of mcq that is why we have solved each and every step this question can come with two marks or three marks question as well so final answer is two for second part next two parts we are also going to cover in this video in today's lecture let's do part three now part three is secant a <coughs> plus tangent a 1 minus sin a we need to solve it so what will we do just now i have told you secant a can be written as 1 by cos a tangent can be written as sin a upon cos a 1 minus sin a as it is in this bracket cos a is lcm we get 1 plus sin a and then 1 minus sin a as it is. Now see it is 1 plus sin a 1 min minus sin a that means a plus b a minus b. So I can write a square minus b square and we had done this formula sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. If you check we will get value of cos square a as 1 minus sin square a from this formula. It is 1 minus sin square a so I can write it as cos square a. When cos square a is divided by cos a finally our answer will be cos a. This question is having four options. First one is secant a. Second is sin a third is cosecant a and last option is cos a so its answer is d option for part number three now last part of this question and today's lecture we are going to cover fourth part one plus tangent square a over 1 plus cotangent square a. We need to solve it. Now see, we have done these formulas 1 plus tangent square a is equal to secant square a. 1 plus cotangent square a it is equal to cosecant square a. See directly these formulas can be used. 1 plus tangent square a I am writing secant square a and 1 plus cotangent square a I am writing cosecant square a. Secant square a can be written as 1 by cos square a. Cosecant square a can be written as 1 by sin square a. Finally, what will happen? This sin square a will move at top, 1 will remain in denominator. So, we get sin square a upon cos square a sin upon cos is tangent so we can write it as tangent square a right so we were having four options for this question secant square a minus 1 cotangent square a and last was tangent square a so its answer is d tangent square a so students today we have covered third and fourth both questions i hope you are clear with in our next lecture we will start question number five if you have not subscribed yet to our channel please subscribe and click on the bell button so that whenever we upload any new video you will get the notification thank you so much mm -hmm.